بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. A lot of my clients complain about anxiety, depression, and so on, and they say, you know, like we need more practical solution and positivity and staying positive, working on our mindset. And I always say, Subhanallah, this whole issue with the uh, law of attraction, right? The non-Muslims talk about the law of attraction. There's a lot of self-development books. The monk who sold his Ferrari, 5 a.m. club. And they say, you know, we don't have these things. Well, actually, we do. 1400 years ago, on the hadith of Abu Huraira, hadith Qudsi, the Prophet ﷺ told us that Allah says, I am as my servant thinks of me. If he thinks good of me, it's for him. If he thinks bad for me, it's him. You gotta keep a positive mindset with Allah. Not like, oh, he's gonna punish me, this and that. Think good and keep pushing yourself day and night. We're gonna give you practical steps, inshallah, how to work on this, inshallah, so that you can actually start getting a practical program. Not just theoretical, but practical. How can I change my mindset? Does positivity mean, because again, we are using non-Muslim terms sometimes, or constructions, concepts. Terms, I mean, we might find the equivalent or the translation of it in our deen, but when it comes to like, what do they represent? Uh, maybe not. Because people think positivity, you just have to be some, you know, ha ha ha, everything is funny and smart and cute and whatnot. It's not like that. That's not just what it is. Whoever thinks good of Allah, I am as my servant thinks of me, of Allah. Most believers, why do they get depressed? They lose hope. In who? You know, they start saying life, this, that. But actually, it's a disconnection from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Again, from my clients, one of the main things is that because of the sins and the mistakes that any person will make, they, these sins and mistakes will become a hindrance. They're, they're not as a, a sin and mistake anymore. It becomes more than that. And we know. That yes, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can cut your rizq and remove the barakah and this and that. But that's up to Allah. Allah will do that. Okay, if he, he fits, you know, he knows exactly what, what, uh, who deserves what. But the way you look at it, from your perspective, you got to keep it as a sin. There's so many hadith to discuss this about the issue of forgiveness, repentance, and so on, and how you have to keep going. Like, you can't just stop. Most of my clients in counseling, they cannot succeed and push forward because there's this psychological paralysis that they go into because of their sins. So the sin is not a sin anymore. Even if they make toba, it's it becomes more than a sin. It becomes more like, you know, um, that's it. I can't move forward anymore. I cannot. I can't do anything. It, it paralyzes me. I'm not good anymore. So that's where the the concept of being thinking positive of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Forget about the law of attraction and what these non-Muslims are coming. We are way ahead of them. It's only that we forgot ourselves. We forgot to start talking about relative and relevant issues. So, remember this hadith. It's not a long hadith. It's a very simple hadith, but so deep, guys. Yes, every son and daughter of Adam will make sins. Don't let the sins become a hindrance, a block in your development, of your journey to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Remember the hadith that sometimes, and the statement of some of the scholars, Taskiyah, that sometimes the sin might bring you closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why? Because you learn from it because you push forward don't stop and just you know like that's it i'm done right you get into what i call this paralysis okay by analysis paralysis by analysis you analyze too much you start losing hope most people most clients who come they just lost hope uh, they made though but maybe allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive them how many hadith about this about the forgiveness but their mindset is not there. They cannot get past it. Oh my, I'm a bad person. I'm this and that. Okay, uh, you know, I cannot really do good in my work. Uh, my family feels that I'm bad. I can't really play with the kids. I'm all down. I'm always down, always thinking how bad I am. I'm such a hypocrite, this and that. Shaitan is very smart to inflate these things and to, because in the end, he, he doesn't want you to work for Islam. He doesn't want you to work for Allah, okay? <coughs> So the real law of positivity is, is uh, thinking good of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And what does this mean again, guys? Yes, Allah will forgive you. Someone will say, no, brother, but it's a big, big, bad sin and this and that. They'll bring you hadith. And I... Yes, but it stands. Think good of Allah. Allah will forgive you. 
remember subhanallah and there's there's just so many evidence the hadith about the person who burned his body and you know his family and the ashes were spread i mean he had this taqwa but it was a fake it was a wrong not fake it was a wrong taqwa and allah brought his ashes back together and told him what what did you do it's like i feared i feared meeting you so allah forgave him and many many other hadith right think try Fear, of course, part of positivity of thinking good of Allah is the taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's not like, yeah, I'm just like, yeah, I'm flying on, you know, on colors here. No, guys. But forget about the law of attraction. You know, we have what we need to develop ourselves. But the mindset is not easy. It doesn't come just from theory. It comes from constantly pondering over there, you know, like properly having this internal dialogue with yourself and just keep saying, hey, hey, hey. I can do it, I can do it, I can do it, right? Allah is the most merciful. Allah is the most forgiving. I would only think positive. Allah will forgive. Your mind, your sins, all these things might come up so high in your life, right? To the point that it depresses you, it pushes you down. But then again, you remember, you're like, no, no, Allah will forgive me. Allah will give me what I need. Allah will help me. Allah will do it. Why? Because of this hadith. It's a hadith Qudsi. It is Allah telling you this directly. So, and remember, if you're going to think, oh, Allah will punish me, I'm not good, this and that. No one is saying, don't make this gear of yourself. Don't get yourself to be good. But think positive of Allah. It's not about thinking positive of you all the time. And I'm the man, I'm this and that. No, it's about thinking positive of your creator, of your Lord, of Allah. Okay, that's who you think positive of. And then that will change the dynamics in your life. It will start helping you the way you think about everything else in your life all right so and i am as my servant my slave thinks of me he thinks good it's for him meaning good will come to you positivity will come to you you will start feeling better you will start acting better you will start developing you'll get out his paralysis but if you think bad and negative all the time of Allah, that's just punishment. Allah is just, He is only Jabbar. He is only, you know, Malik. Uh, he is only Malik Yomidin. He is only the one who will punish you and this and that. Then, Falahu, it's for you. SubhanAllah. I mean, Allah has given us the, the remedy. Allah has given us the, the direction of what we have to do in our life to stay positive. All we have to do is practice some, some cognitive behavior therapy. What is that? CBT. It's about just continuously programming your mindset. And this is why Omar Khattab would have this muhasaba, this, this, this internal dialogue. I'm going to show Omar, the nafs of Omar, who is Omar. So show your nafs who you really are and show your nafs who is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Barakallahu feekum. Assalamu alaikum.